All right, there we go. We got your number 20 through number 11 positions for those competitive 9, 10 dancers. You guys all take a big bow for it, so cheer for them. All right, we thank you guys very, very much. You can head on back to your seats as we bring up our top 10 places for that 9, 10 competitive solo division. Your 10th place finisher is Madison Hines. Yeah! And we are here for Town on Parade. It is pre-competition day for nationals. So really we're checking time. into the hotel and you're gonna come along. Let's do this. Here's the bathroom here at the Sheraton that we'll be using. Oh, it looks like brand new. And it has uh, the conditioner and all that stuff in here, Maddie. Built in the wall? Yeah, it's That's like great. a big one. Oh, are these free? I'm assuming so. Courtney's missing out. <laughs> I don't think those are free. Okay, so we are here a day ahead of the actual competition and Charlie is staying with us. She's competing her solo along with Maddie Hines and Caitlin. Um, and what they're also doing is they're in the top stars. So they have to, she has to be here even though she's not competing yet because tomorrow morning you start your top stars dance practice. So that's like pretty much an all-star team and she'll get to be a part of that and perform that at the end of the week of competition. So, <laughs> we're gonna be here for several days and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So today is kind of like your pre-travel day or your pre-competition day. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get freshened up and then um, I think we're gonna go eat. We may even go spy and see what's going on over at Town on Parade because we're connected to the convention center and maybe see the setup of what it's gonna look like tomorrow. So <laughs> this will be a two-parter, a two-dayer vlog for this first vlog. So this is the pre-stuff. So we're gonna go eat. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. <laughs> we are sitting here at Cheesecake Factory and we are eating dinner and I'm about ready to have my cheesecake for my birthday cake. And this is everyone at the table. <laughs> yeah. It says happy birthday to me. My intrusive thoughts. <laughs> okay, what should I wish for? Okay. Yay! Hey 
guys, so I'm back here at the Sheraton, which is right here. And right behind me is the convention center here in Kansas City Overland Park area. This is like the iconic place where we always went for our nationals until we started going to Bravo. And then this year we did Prestige. So coming back here, it feels very at home. It feels very like, hmm, I don't know. It's just like this was our very first nationals we ever did was here in Kansas City in Overland Park. So it's really awesome to be here. And I'm just sitting outside relaxing and enjoying this nice breeze. Yes. And I had a really good dinner. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Caitlin and Lisa showed up and so we just had a good time just chilling not even really talking about dance just having fun talking and uh, right now Madeline is with Charlie and Aubrey they went over to Walmart I'm just too tired I'm old 53 today so <laughs> I wanted to just chill outside um, and that's what I'm doing and I don't know if I'm going to go in and go take a peek. I kind of feel like I'm being sneaky if I do that. So I may not do that. And uh, I may not vlog for the rest of the night. I have no idea. But so if I end it here, I guess I will just see you guys in the morning. If not, then I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Good morning, guys. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I ended up just going back to the room. I was so tired and did not want to like even venture out of the room. Literally took a shower and went straight to bed. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> I just, I don't have the adventurous spirit I used to have when I was a kid or when I was younger. <sighs> anyway, good morning guys. And I am really excited about today's competition. Um, it is also um, for all three of our soloists that are coming to competition. They're also participating in the Top Stars event. So being on the All-Star team, Maddie and Charlie start at 8 a.m. this morning. It is now 6.47 in the morning. Um, I just ran and did a McDonald's run so that she could be nice and fed and ready to go for her first practice of Top Stars. Um, she has to check in by 8 and then Caitlin has to be here by 10. So it does give me a little more time to like relax with Matt, with Aubrey and Maddie and stuff like that. And I do like the convenience of being right next to the convention center. So I don't have to like get in my car and drive and, you know, be stuck here. So, um, but we also are changing hotels. <laughs> So this hotel right now, we only were able to book for tonight or last night. Um, I have to go to our other hotel this evening and then that's where we're gonna be staying until Monday. It is Friday. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I believe. This is a very long competition. I have looked at all of the cars in the parking lot. There are cars here from Oklahoma, from Iowa, from Illinois, from Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas. That's six states alone. So this is telling me with it being a four to five, I think it's four days, Thursday, Friday. Let me get this right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's a five day competition. This is huge. Um, there's, I wanna say, I know there's over a thousand acts. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Uh, I don't know how many is in each one of the kids brackets yet. I'm going to say based off of the other nationals that I've watched online, I'm, I'm going to say anywhere between 80 to a hundred dancers will be in each one of their brackets. <clears throat> Caitlin and Maddie Hines are competing in the advanced bracket and Charlie is competing in intermediate. I guarantee you intermediate is going to be the biggest. Um, so making a top anything is going to be crazy. They're also entered in title and um, with Maddie and Caitlin bringing two solos that automatically pumps them into the high point 
possibilities. And don't forget, there's always a Judge's Choice Award to get recognized. And then the end all be all is being picked for an overall lineup. Um, or, I mean, <laughs> the stars in the heavens kind of overall end all be all would be picked to do the um, reperforming and being in the final showcase. So for the overall grand champion. So that would be crazy. I'm not even gonna speculate on that. Um, I just want the kids to get out there and score better than what they did last time they were at Talent on Parade. So right now, um, Heinz and Charlie both got high diamonds um, and Caitlin got a double diamond. So we are hoping that, and that was at regionals. So we're hoping that they can either stay at the same level or bump up even higher. That would be super dope for them. Um, the other thing they could win is a category win for their category. Um, and Charlie is competing in acro. So she actually might have a shot at winning a um, category cup. That would be cool if she's the best acro dancer in her bracket. So we'll see. I think her acro has gotten even better. She worked really, really hard this summer. Um, spent the last couple weeks fine tuning the routine and listening to the critiques from the judges and really trying to implement things that the judges were talking about. Um, same thing with Caitlin and Heinz. They really worked on those things. I mean, they broke it down. They watched the judges tapes with Maddie and they were like, okay, we have to change this. This is where the judge says you need to do that and do this. And so I think they were very good about like the focus. Now we'll see if they can put it on the stage. <laughs> But I'm really excited about them doing the Top Stars thing too. I think that'll be fun for them. Um, it'll give them a really good like um, understanding of how the professional dance world works. I, and we have two of our dancers from our studio got accepted and invited to attend pre-pro which is Talent on Parade's like intensive, summer intensive. It's a very exclusive high, it's very expensive too, <laughs> event. And I am officially announcing it that Aubrey got accepted. So Aubrey, you, you were able to submit a video along with, you know, getting a chance at one of your competitions or one of the directives um, to get invited to attend pre-pro, GoPro and progressions and Aubrey got picked <laughs> and so did Maddie Hines. So Maddie Hines is going to be doing pre-pro and so is Aubrey. And from what we understand that the Talent on Parade office let us know, she is the youngest that they've ever had in the pre-pro program. So I am super stoked for her and um, that's, that's huge. So that's gonna be awesome. I think we are starting to find out, we think that uh, we've been letting Aubrey do sports along with dance. And I think we're finding out that dance is really kind of her thing. And she loves sports. And I think she's very competitive with sports too. But I think that long-term goal for Aubrey, as far as like if she wanted to get a college scholarship or anything like that, it would definitely be I think in dance. <laughs> Speaking of scholarships, I want to give a huge shout out because our very own Deja, who graduated last year, 2023, she got accepted and is going to Ottawa University and she's going to be a golden girl. We are so proud of her. She got a 75% off tuition scholarship. That is huge. And uh, so, yeah, she's dancing for Ottawa, and that's why she didn't come to Talent on Parade um, to do the Top Stars because she had been invited. And so, congratulations, Deja. I, I'm so excited for you, dude. That's huge. They're a huge private school. I think D2 um, is the equivalence of what it would be. Um, but it's a big deal. It's, it's huge for us. Um, it's really cool for Ashley because Ashley was an alumni there. So coach Ashley helped 
um, make the initial um, invite for her to be seen by their dance coach and on the spot, literally on the spot, that coach was like, I'm uh, 75% off. I want this kid on my team. So that's amazing. <laughs> and they did a signing. It was really cool. I wish I could have been there, but we weren't able to do that. But anyhow, so we have a lot of really cool, exciting things that are happening for our kids, for all of our dancers. Um, almost the entire company of high school age kids are on a high school dance team or cheer team. So they are going to be swamped <laughs> this season. And we are changing things up at the dance spot. Um, we have a whole new baby group. Uh, I don't like calling them babies, but it's like Aubrey's age group. And they're, um, they, they're changing the dynamics of the studio. We're no longer just like a diamond company, emerald company. All of that's kind of gone. We're just competition company and rec studio classes. So you can just take recreational classes and do our winter recital and do the spring recital and then do summer training. You can train with the company kids because they have to take those classes as well. And you can add competition and how they add competition is based on the routines, not based on age and not based on levels. Like we're letting each one do their own level. And that's why you have like Caitlin and Maddie Hines competing in, in advanced and then you've got like Charlie doing intermediate and then we still have other kids doing novice so we don't have it like separated by like team so everybody dances at their own level and trains at their own level and then they are chosen by routines so I hope that makes sense I don't know it's different it's we are now the competition company um not diamond company not emerald company just the dance spot competition company we'll see how this goes <laughs> all right so um it's now time for me to head on in and see what charlie is up to and Wishing her good luck this morning, and maybe I'll get a snap or two of her and Maddie before they head over into their class. It's going to be a big day. Let's go have some fun. Go. Yes, girl. Okay, so here we are. We're at top. For nationals, and these two are warming up for top stars. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just cartwheels? Nice jump. Okay, ready? Go! Yay! For your top stars, there's Maddie. Are they in alphabetical order? There's Maddie. Yeah. There's Caitlin. There. There's Caitlin. There's Charlie. Charlie could be here. There's Charlie. There's a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Is it safe? The dance? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, Aubrey, where are we going? To the top shop. Let's go see. Hey, you gotta take a picture with Mr. Crazy. What is that flowy guy? So you've been doing that since you were a baby. When we come back. Okay, when we come back. Oh, there's the top shop. Whoa. Oh, you wanna squish? Squishmallow. Okay, well, if you're good today, I will get you that. You know what they do have? I think they have where you can do a coloring contest. No, I just want to. Oh, more stuffed animals. 
Wow. More things? Yeah. I think you already have something like that, didn't you? No. Yeah, you got sugar sugar balls. Ooh, and here's your favorite part of the top shop. It's little bins. Oh, yep, the glow up balls. What else they got over here? Ooh, I like their hoodies, the pink ones. Those are cute. What else they got? They got these and the camera's these. That's cool. It's a pop. It's a pop. Cool. What's along here? Clothes. More clothes? Yeah. You don't want to look at that, huh? That's cute. And it's pen. So when you pull one off, it will be a pen. Oh, really? Well, that's neat. What is this? Oh, I always wondered what it is. You push it down. Mm -hmm. And then it pops out. Oh, that's cool. So many awesome things to look for <laughs> to buying oh, this week at Top Shop. What is this? I don't know. Finger catch game. We got more shirts and pants. Grandma. What now? More squishies. <laughs> and then more fun stuff over here and jewelry and hair accessory stuff i swear this is the best competition comp merch table they have look at all this and then you still have all of this over here the dance attire more merch here and then bam there we go it's the top stage. Oh, I like how they have this year the trophies and all of that in the corners. That's super dope. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so it's still really, really early, so there's not a lot of people in here yet, which is nice keeps it kind of quiet but it's gonna be pumping and loud and screaming and everybody excited here in just a couple hours so let's go see stage number two I'm not buying anything right now I told you you'd be really good you can come work get something in the top shop okay all right so we're gonna go see where stage number two is where Caitlin will be competing for the first round So this is room or stage number two. Come on, I'm go take a look. I'm gonna come in here, come on. Come on. They got it all set up, pretty fancy, schmancy. Looks good. Okay, so I just looked in the book. There are <laughs> so many dance studios here. And they're from all over. Like, I, this is like the Midwest Nationals, basically. Because it's like Arkansas and Missouri and Oklahoma and... Iowa and Illinois and Texas and Colorado. Oh gosh, Minnesota, Illinois. Like, yeah, it's it's two pages full <laughs> of studios. So I went through and I counted how many are in each of their brackets. 
So for title, there's 27 going up for title in Caitlin's bracket today, and there's 65 total in the advanced bracket. Now, some of those might be multiples, so it may only be like, because you can't win with both of your solos. That's how it works. I'd have to go through and like figure out every person who has a multiple solo and see how many she's up for in high point, but that's still a pretty big number. Um, in the intermediate bracket, let's see here. So for Charlie, there is 44 in the inter intermediate bracket for her and 34 total for the title. And title is everyone from novice all the way up to advanced. And that's for basically like best showmanship, best performer, best routine that they thought was the most entertaining, not necessarily the most technical. So that's really good for her. And... And then in Heinz, there are 53 in her advanced level and 33 going, going up for title. Up. Again, all about um, what the total numbers are for like people sure. doing high point because she has two solos too. So she's also in running for that. But it's going to be awesome. There's a lot of studios that I was like, oh man, we've seen them all season long. I don't want to compete against them again because <laughs> it's almost like them and then us and then them and then us. Okay, so here we go. This is it. All the way downtown. Let's bring it down. Um, the girls are over there stretching. We just got them some of these like exercise bands that are supposed to be good for their legs. Are you on four? Aubrey, what size do you have? So. And Aubrey's doing it with them. It's so cute. Anyway, we're waiting for them to get started for Top Stars, where they'll be going in, I think, Ballroom C to rehearse. And then I have to go pack up the hotel room, load up the car, and then Caitlin should be here in about an hour or two. And then she'll be getting ready for her competition. This is going to be crazy. Can't take these kids anywhere. <laughs> okay, Aubrey, it's in here. Oh, she wants a coffee from like the coffee place. Got you. We bougie like that. So Aubrey went and took a picture with her favorite little blow up guy that they have at nationals all the time. So that was cute. And earlier we took some pictures over here in front of the top stars and the backdrop. Take a look at these. Um, what? I guess so, since you are a teacher. Oh, thanks. Hey, bye, teacher. So we've got our seats. Oh, we're matching today, bro. Ah! Okay, so uh, we're sitting here waiting for Caitlin to do her first solo. Mm -hmm. And she just got text messages of her new grandbaby. <laughs> the pictures of the baby. <laughs> a little Madison having a baby. Oh my God. If you guys have followed our vlogs, you guys understand this is so cool. She gets to be a dance grandma with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, regardless if she ever dances or not, she's still part a of part family. of our dance family, so she'll be around in the yes. studio coming to competition. At least until Caitlin graduates. That's four years. Yes. But, but that would be the perfect time. 
she'll be four and they could do a little thingy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Kind of kind of pass the torch on. That would be so dope, right? But we're not gonna put the pressure on Madison no. and Noah. I know Noah had to put up with all those years of his sister with being sister. in it and but his can... girlfriend, now his future wife. Yeah. So I get it if he's like, I don't want to do this. But, I'm, I don't want to be in the dance world. But the two grandmas. Are but I'm telling you, what, season. Right, and here's the thing: that baby is going to be hella talented because it's coming from her family line and Autumn's family line. Yep. I don't know. We don't know if she's next or if they're going to go back to one that they skipped. Oh, oh, oh hey, here, here she goes. <laughs> 11 and competing for top entertainer, please welcome Caitlin Hieronymi. Yeah! Caitlin was just in that trash can over there puking. Hi, so now we're cleaning up the creepy and we're gonna make her sexy. Mom, can you not say things like that? It's brilliant. Ever. Abby, are you having fun? No, she's bored. Okay, so Caitlin did really good on her solo. They changed some stuff up, so I knew there was some like little parts where she like messed up, but as far as like performance and entertainment value, she was very intense. So I thought it was good. I thought it was entertainment value enough to at least maybe even get her in the top entertainer lineup. We'll see. Now we have her doing her other solo, and honestly, I like Eleven, but I swear Camp Camp Beloved is my favorite solo she's ever done. So that one's my favorite. She's so good in that one. So now we have that one coming up and then we will be doing awards and Tara was so sweet and went and got the girls some Subway and hanging out with Abby. <laughs> It's just so different, like coming to a competition and not having like 20 different soloists that we have to worry about. We only have one the whole day. So that's kind of nice. Um, it'll be fun to see and hear how Heinz and Charlie liked doing the top stars thing. So, and then Caitlin does top stars tomorrow. She'll start hers tomorrow. But right now we have the next solo coming up. I was gonna throw up before she went on stage because I was so nervous for her. And there was a creepy solo that went on two numbers before hers, which I think helped like make her go even harder with her creepy so that she could stand out and be even more creepy. Like it was good. I don't know. Will they like it? It's gonna be hit or miss. They'll either love it or they're gonna hate it. And it's trippy because all of these dancers are from all over. Like, I'm like, oh, she's from Iowa. Oh, she's from Illinois. Oh, she's from Minneapolis. <coughs> oh, she's from, you know, Missouri. She from, like, they're all over the place. Never seen these numbers before. I will say this. I have noticed in this particular competitive level, if you're doing trick upon trick upon trick, as far as like just turn, 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 turns and leaps and all this, you're getting lost in the wash. Her solo stood out. There were two jazz solos that stood out. And then that other creepy solo that stood out from everything I've seen today, as far as like entertaining me. So we'll see. I don't know. Caitlin went from creepy and now she's going to be beautimous. She's over there straightening her hair. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin! I love you!
Okay, so our food came. Caitlin still has one more solo. And then the kids have to go back into the ballroom. They said that they really had a fun time in the first part of their rehearsal. And they were put in group two, whichever what that means. I have no idea. But they seem excited. And now Caitlin is ready for her second solo. And then it'll be time for awards. And then I can eat. Step up to the front. We're going to start well, she gotta with our classy tapper award. And that goes to Nancy. That's Nancy Merrick, tiny right. dancer. So our next award from the judges the artistic concept and execution. And that goes to Jillian. 220. Poem. Jillian, step on up. The star quality award goes out to Taylor. That's I Love You, act number 234. Got that uh, triple threat award for Lily, whipped into shape, 246, triple threat. Our next one is the uh, Superb Stage Presence Award, and that goes out to Edie for Ben About It, 166. Up next is the uh, Artistic Technician Award, and that's for Lily, remember, X number 154. Our judges have awarded the Heartfelt Execution Award, and that goes to Haley Pluto, act number 135. A Textured Dynamics Award for Caitlin Brushfire, 155. Total package, got the total package here for Delaney, new best thing, number 172. Our next award, all the right moves. And that goes to Ava. Call me, act number 185. Come on up, Ava. And let's see, just a couple more. My next one is the uh, Dance Floor Diva. And that's for Logan, Lady Marmalade, act number 195. And finally, the uh, captivating choreography. And that goes out to Caitlin, 11, act number 200. <laughs> A double diamond in the advanced level is possible. You can do it. <laughs> it's inspirational. Hey, don't jinx me. I'm not jinxing. So they're in here. This is where they've been rehearsing for top stars. And Aubrey's in here too. Got it. Do you guys have practice again? Yeah. What time? Oh. Four to six. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Arms around each other. Do you guys have anything to say to Caitlin for getting a double diamond and getting the judges award? That's dope, right? We won't know until tonight. She didn't so, make Parade of Champions, though. But there were 38 she, double diamonds she back in the advanced she really level. didn't want to reperform. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did she not say backstage she didn't want to I know that, but that's what you say to yourself. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. I was even a little disappointed yeah. for her, but 
we have never gotten double diamonds at nationals before. And she has so. a lot. She had a lot in her bracket, so. She had like 60, 65. She had the, 65, 65 the most. Yeah. How many in my bracket? 44. I don't even mind. 53, I think. Even 44 is a lot. I'm yes. I'm here to get rug burn. I'm so sorry. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, so we just watched the Parade of Champions, and um, wow, that senior level was insane, 17 and 19. And I have to give a personal shout out to Chesney Lee. Girl, I, she's on that side, I think. Um, anyway, you were so good, you made me ball. Uh, I was so like blown away and she sent me a message asking when Caitlin was performing today and wanted to go watch Caitlin and I just think that's absolutely so sweet and so supportive of our little Caitlin so wow very blown away you were amazing amazing congratulations all right so now it is time for the final go around and we'll see if she makes a lineup if not then we just had a good day and she got double diamond for the first time ever in the advanced level that we've ever competed at Talna Parade at a nationals she got a double diamond and then she got a uh, high diamond with her second solo the other solo which was the 11 one and she got a judge's choice award for that so that was huge there were 60 Four or 65 in her bracket. Super hard. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't ask for anything better, but yeah, so this is uh, what we're doing now. Just waiting to see if she makes a lineup. If not, no big deal. Right, Mom? Because okay. she already, in our books, already has like beat out any other record we've had at Top Nationals. Boom, drop that. Caitlin did not make the lineup, but there were 23 that had the double diamond. So we knew she was in the top 23. We just didn't know if she was going to make 20 and up. So, first time ever competing in the advanced bracket here at Town on Parade for her. I am stoked because both her solos got recognized. She got a double diamond top 23 and the other one she got a freaking judge's choice award it's down in that parking lot and Courtney King yay and now tomorrow is all about Charlie Solo so excited all right I'll see you guys in the morning Peace out. Bye. Good job, Caitlin. Love you. Bye. Good morning. It is literally the sun hasn't even come up, guys. Look at that. Still got the moon out there. Not, no, no light yet. But it is July 7th, and it is day two of Top Nationals, and I'm already worn out. <laughs> we have till Monday. It's only Friday. Is today Friday? Is today Saturday? I'm so confused. I think today's Friday. So um, today's another big day of competing. It's for Charlie today. She was in the 11 to 12 year old bracket. <clears throat> and she's competing in the intermediate level. And her goal is to at least score as high as she did at regionals, which was a uh, high diamond. So anything high diamond or better, Charlie has met her goals. And I think she can do it. I think she's going to do really, really well. Um, they have top stars again this morning. Her and Madison have practiced, I think it's 730 this morning. And then... Um, Caitlin starts hers top stars today. So, 
lots of stuff going on today and I can't wait to share another amazing competition day with you. Yay! I am here waiting for another DoorDash for some yummy foods. And Aubrey's inside taking a master's class. They have free master classes here for nationals. So that's pretty cool. And then Charlie is getting ready for her solo and her and Hines did their top stars rehearsals this morning and then Caitlin's supposed to be here any minute to get to do hers. So just waiting to see where my food is because I'm starving. Okay, got ourselves some firehouse subs. Let's do this thing. Do the thing and eat the food. And we would love to be sponsored by firehouse subs, but sadly we're not. <laughs> All right, time to eat, and then it's time to get Charlie prepped and ready to go. And there you go, class of 2023, senior top stars, Caitlin. Top face. She's super nervous. Super nervous. It's the first time she's done something like this alone. So Charlie is warming up and working on her solo with her coach. And we all are done with our lunch. Are you coming with us? Okay. Grandma's gonna crochet. And me and Courtney and Abby are gonna go sit and watch and get ready to watch little Charlie kill it. Oh, she's nervous. She'll do fine though. Can't wait. Guys, one more routine here for those 11, 12 solos. It's an acro gymnastics intermediate level routine at 579. Performing Feel Like I'm Drowning. And here to compete for that title of top entertainer. Make a yeah, let's go, Charlie! Okay, so we just got done with the uh, first round of awards. Charlie got a high diamond, which is exactly what we um, expected and our goal was for her. Um, 
there is a top 10 lineup and there are top 10 out of 44 there were 10 double diamonds so that automatically means she didn't make the top 10 but friends. what And then she's doing a special acro part. I'm so proud of my kids. They're amazing. We're going to go celebrate right now because Shirley did so good. And we're going to go eat Mexican food. This is awesome. What a good day. All right. And then tomorrow is Maddie Hines in the advanced bracket. She has 53. It's going to be crazy hard. So. <sighs> We're doing our victory dinner! Yay! Charlie, high five! Number two here at Nationals. Tomorrow's Madison's Day. Charlie, you did awesome. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is day number three here at Town on Parade, and me and Aubrey are chilling out and getting ready to head over to the competition. And something happened with Aubrey. Can you see it? I lost my tooth. She lost another tooth. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Uh -oh. It was a tiny tooth. Now we got to find it. Oh, no. Oh, it's on my finger. Oh, <laughs> that tells you how tiny it is. Oh, it was a tiny tooth. Now you got the tooth fairy going to come. Starting out day three. Awesome. Here we go. So we are done getting ready. It is time for us to go cheer on Maddie and see how she does in the soloist bracket. The other two girls were in rehearsals again for Top Stars. So today's a big day a for card? Maddie. Yes, I do. And uh, we're hoping she'll do at least a high diamond. And if she gets anything else beyond that, it's a big win. There's like 53 in her bracket, so really hard dancers here at this competition. Super competitive. So, yeah. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, baby. Ready? Okay, great. Yeah. Want some Diet Coke? Dance rehearsal, good? Yeah. You had to say your name? Were you embarrassed? It was so awkward. There's 80 people in there. I don't want to talk to everyone. <laughs> um, Courtney's in the other room. Oh, for the duet. 
in the groups or she's in the solos? I don't, I don't know, but go away. Oh, okay. Mine's is getting ready. I've got Charlie and Abby with me and we're gonna go find Coach Courtney. I think she's watching groups. And we have no groups this weekend, just solos and top stars. So we're gonna go see what the groups look like. Thank you, Olaf. <laughs> All right, so she's stressing out a little bit. She did really good in her wolves routine. I think we're gonna have to go around, guys. Let's just go around. This way. Anyway, she's stressing out. I thought she did excellent. Now she's getting ready for Siren. And we'll see how that goes. Um, really tough bracket, again some really sick jazz dancers but we'll see we'll see how she does there's over 50 so maybe they'll do a top 20 and maybe she'll get in it it'll all depend on how she gets on her adjudications I think we'll see so good luck I want you to get excited for me they're coming in on that adjudicated scale all you need to know is I'm gonna call out your name and you guys are gonna pop up and you're gonna head stage right you're gonna head right over here mr. Jason is waving let's wave back at mr. Jason and say hi mr. Jason all right you're gonna go down the stairs you're gonna grab your trophy while you're over there you're gonna grab your national pin your placement pin over there as well so make sure you get both of those things and then head on back out to the stage for us here, guys. The uh, the scale is the same as it's been for quite a while here. That uh, TOP award, the Elite Award, the Diamond Award, the High Diamond Award, and the Double Diamond Award. That's the one way up there at the top. And let's find out how we did in the uh, contemporary category first. We have uh, Kennedy receiving a High Diamond for With Love, act number 639. Kendall running with the Wolves, a High Diamond for Kendall. Madison, keep the wolves away, and that's a double diamond right there. Oh, yeah, Kaylee receives a high diamond for in my own little corner. Rowan, high diamond, that's don't forget about me, 718. Madison, siren, high diamond, X number 750. Woo! and talk to you because I just got a call from Maddie and now if you follow us on Instagram and and so forth you're already gonna know what I'm gonna tell you um, but because you'll know the final results but I just have to talk about it right now because I have to get it off my chest so if they do a top 20 there's 53 in the advanced bracket if they do a top 20 we know by counting how many double diamonds there were that Maddie is 15th or higher. 
what? So if they do a top 20, she will be in the overall lineup for the very first time in the advanced bracket at Talent on Parade Nationals out of 53 advanced soloists. I'm, I'm in total shock right now. Um, if they do a top 15, she'll still be in the lineup. If they do a top 10, she has three chances because they have, no, four chances because there's this, it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth that are performing in the Parade of Champions. And then seventh, eighth, ninth, and 10th will be the other four that would be in the lineup. So she does have a shot to even make the top 10 if they do that, because there are a total of 15 double diamonds. Six of those are already done because they're in the Parade of Champions. So she's got a shot, y'all. Either 10, a top 10, a top 15, or a top 20, it's guaranteed. So I'm over the moon, super excited. Now when Caitlin did her bracket, I think there were 23 double diamonds when it came down to the final lineup. She did not make the top 20, which means she was, she was one of those three that did not make the overalls with her double diamond. That's still huge, guys, especially because this is our first time ever competing in advanced brackets. It's our first time ever, like, and then for Charlie, so, and this is huge for her too, in the intermediate bracket, there were 44, 11 of the 44 were double diamonds. Then there was 12, I think, something like that, that were high diamonds. So if you do that, that's another 23, top 23 or so that are high diamonds or double diamonds for an intermediate level. Now I'm gonna tell you the top five that were in that intermediate level had no business being in the intermediate level. They were advanced kids in that 11 to 12 year old bracket. They should have been up. So with that being said, I'm super, super proud of these kids that they placed in the top tiers of all three of these solo brackets that were extremely difficult, really big, with dancers from studios that weren't just from Kansas. I mean, they were literally all over the Midwest. So for them to be able to place against dancers that were from all those various states, and these are really good dancers, I'm just in shock and in awe. Four or five years ago when we came to Town on Parade, all we ever did was compete in the novice bracket. I think one time we competed in intermediate and we got nothing blacked out. So we always just stayed novice. Then we went to Bravo, did novice at Bravo. This last year was the very first time we attempted to go into other levels. So we went into regionals where we competed in all three levels. And then we did the prestige nationals, which it was still a pretty big nationals. There was like over 300 acts. And, you know, each one of the kids had at least 10 to 25 in one, I think even the in one intermediate level had like 45 or something like that. So it was still huge. And those dancers were not easy to beat. They were really, really good too, but they were all local dancers. They were all studios then that were from the Kansas area. So we knew coming into town on parade, it was gonna be way harder and way bigger. I mean, this one has over 1500 acts total. So that's quadruple the size. We never in a million years thought we would even have a shot at getting anything, let alone placing the highest adjudication you can get or the second highest adjudication you can get, which used to be the old double diamond rating. Like that was near to impossible for us to get that back in the day. So for Charlie to walk out with that, which is technically the old double diamond level, adjudication level. And then for Heinz and um, Caitlin to walk away with their new double diamond rating, 
and be in the top tier of each one of their groups. I'm just beyond proud. And it just gets me really excited about the future of this studio and the future of this team. The training that they have now, and I swear it's because Madeline has completely quit work and now she's 150% committed to the studio. We have Justice who's been coming in and helping them. Ashley has contributed a lot with training their acro. And then they're just, these kids are so dang focused. Like they really want it. And they're really like intense about their training now. They still only train two days a week, but they're focused. There's no goofing around. Um, they, they want it really bad. So it is possible to have a small town studio that only has their kids coming in two days a week to do successful and to do it at the cheapest price that we are offering to because man studios that can't afford to like have three four day I mean they're talking we're talking three four hundred dollars a month our kids at let's say for example for Caitlin they pay a flat across the board fee and it's only $95 a month for the training that Caitlin gets and that Maddie Hines gets and they're placing as well as they are in these advanced levels. I'm just, whatever, beyond, I'm, I'm, I'm literally like, I'm in shock and so grateful and so thankful and so proud. And uh, I hope this just makes them work even harder because who knows, maybe in another year or two, because Caitlin still has four years. Hines, she's only 11. Look at all the years she has left to maybe one day actually have one of our kids in the Parade of Champions. That is the dream upon dream. Next year, 2024, that is our going to be our motto. This last year it was, we were the game changer. This year, in 2024, it's about making dreams come true. That's what it's about. So, if you sat here through my long rant right now and you want to be a part of a studio that is fulfilling unbelievable, impossible goals for the fraction of the cost that you spend at other studios, dude, I'm, I'm not even like begging anymore it's it's what are you doing you're wasting your money and you're wasting your time don't you want those kind of opportunities for your kids like we're having I, I know I would especially if I was spending over several hundred dollars a month and my kids can't even get out of a certain level and they sure as heck would not be getting double diamonds at places like It'd be done. That'd be it for me. I'd be like, see ya, sayonara. I'm heading over the dance spot and see what they can do for a hell of a lot cheaper. But then again, that's just me. All right, so the girls are done. Did you guys have fun in the pool? Okay, so we are now going to be heading over. Huh? Well, it's okay. You can use my phone. Or you can use your mom's. Because your mom hasn't been using her phone. All right, so we are going to be heading over to the venue. They have productions going on. And then the first set of awards is the 9 to 10. And like I said, if they do a top 20, it's guaranteed. Heinz will be standing up there in a top 20 overall lineup. Same thing if they do a top 15. If they do a top 10, maybe. Maybe. She's got four chances to maybe make a top 10. So hopefully... Fingers crossed, they'll either do a top 20 or a top 15, because that we know for sure. <laughs> let's go see. Come on in, let's go, let's go. Diamonds, come on up and find your spot. We're going to move to our six and younger category cups in our large groups now. Six and younger large groups in the jazz category. The cup winner is Work Me Down. Come on up, Work Me Down. All right, guys, we're going to roll into our competitive level lineups now. Our first competitive lineup 
is for our 910 solo performers. And just like all of our other solo lineups in the competitive level, a top 10 just not gonna get it. We're gonna call out the top 20 for our 910 competitive dancers. So everybody listen up. Here we go, 10th place. Stella Olsen. Hey, hi, hello. Do we have Stella with us? Come on down. Stella Olsen, make your way on up. In the number 19 spot, Jenna Kate Campbell, if I rule the world. In the number 18 position, it is Leah Myers, Spanish Road. The number 17 spot goes to Kendall Hagman, running with the Wolves. In the number 16 spot, Kinsley Schooley, mic drop. In the number 15 position, it is Elise Bessler, burn it up. Finishing in the number 14 spot, Campbell Trimuch, bounce with me. In the lucky number 13 position, Ellie McGrew, Ellie McGrew, wait. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Moving down into the number 12 position, Olivia Gibson. Olivia performed Diamonds. Alrighty, here we go. Into the number 11 spot. That 11th position belongs to Ava Weber. Oh my god, oh my god. All right, there we go. We got your number 20 through number 11 positions for those competitive 9, 10 dancers. You guys all take a big bow for us. Let's hear it for them. All right, thank you guys very, very much. You can head on back to your seats as we bring up our top 10 places for that 9, 10 competitive solo division. Your 10th place finisher is Madison Hines. Yeah! In eighth place, it is Ryan Crosby, Enter Sandman. Your seventh place finisher, Mallory Morrison. That's for praise. In the number six spot now, let's bring up Lily Bennett, the new nation. Here is your top five. Fifth place finish, Leighton White. Light in a hollow space. Fourth place in the lineup goes to Eden Bellis Castle. In that number three spot, guys, it is Brecklin Copeland. Ave Maria. In the runner up spot now for that 9 10 division, Aubrey Richardson, House of Kita. And taking the top spot in the division, the 9-10 competitive team, Zoe Rigopoulos. All right, outstanding work by all of us. Big bow, there he is. London's coach was sitting next to me and the whole time she was like, oh my god, oh my god, another one, know, another dude, one. When they kept going, I was like, the parade. That's awesome. You were two away from. You were three, yeah, you were three away from the parade, actually. Two. 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 Yeah. That's awesome, baby. So proud of you. Let's get a picture. That's so awesome. Ten of fifty-three in the advanced level. That's so awesome. Yeah, uh, someone with their trophy stabbed me in the head. <laughs> she was just swinging the thing around. And... Well, let's take some pictures. Do you guys? Do you want to take pictures out there or up against this wall? Okay. <laughs> How about with this cool lighting right there? I like that. Courtney, are you going to get in on this? 
Do YouTube first because you choreographed it. Yeah, but you also help train, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a race. So we are done with competing. So now all we have left to do here at Talent on Parade is the top stars performances. And that's tomorrow night with Charlie and with Maddie. They'll be performing in the top stars. And Charlie has a featured part in top stars, right? Oh, you got a featured part too? I'm with her. Oh my gosh, they both have that's so awesome. I'm so proud. Well, where is my car? It's underneath the parking lot. So, yeah. Well, how's it feel to have a Ben Spencer win 10th overall out of 53? I know you are. <laughs> And now it's kind of like shot in the dark because she actually plays 10th overall. I don't know. It's something. Okay. <laughs> and I have to give a personal shout out to little London who won the overall grand champion. She's from DX Studio, I think. Anyway, I sat next to her coaches. I, huh? And... I follow her now on Instagram. I'm stalking her. She's so adorable. She is an amazing little dancer. And yeah, no, I'm, that's why I'm waiting to like finish my vlog. Anyway, okay, so this shout out is for London. Girl, I was so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. And you are gonna do great big things in this dance industry. Keep working hard, girl. Keep working hard. All right. That's it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow where we watch Maddie and Charlie do their first time ever in Top Stars performing. Oh, this is such a great weekend. Boom. Let's do this. Peace out, y'all. There you go for a week long amazing job at Top Stars and yeah, dancing crazy. hard. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Another happy dancer. <laughs> you know she's videotaping. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two peas and a pod. But I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Okay, today he's been super, super chill. Um, they had rehearsal this morning for the junior top stars. And then senior top stars had their rehearsal most of the day today. I think they got done at like 4.30. And now they are getting ready to perform the junior top stars. We had a super fantastic weekend. Still riding the high from last night with Maddie getting 10th overall out of those 53 advanced solos. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're having a blast. It's been a great, great ending to our 2023 season. So now we're gonna go enjoy watching our juniors Dance Away, Class of 2023, Top Stars, Kansas City.
tomorrow night. I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning. It is the final day of Town on Parade Top Stars competition for our studio and today is for Caitlin. So she's having her big day. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna go do that now. <laughs> Okay, so they just got done with the last bit of Rated Champions. That poker face routine was like sick. It was so good. Even the hip hop routine, I like that one a lot too. With the 2000s, I really like that one. She liked Esmeralda. I don't know, the first one made me cry. They were all really good. Those last ones were really, really good. So it's anybody's game. I need to get all my senior top into the backstage. Right, yeah, that one was good. Stage and right All right, so right now it is time for Caitlin sure to do Senior Top Stars, her first time ever doing this, so we'll see how this goes. Roll. and have worked hard to put this production presentation together for you guys. I want to hear it for this finale 
our senior Top Stars team. Here they are. this way let's do this scooch one let's scooch this way and for good measure we are going to take one more here and we'll count it off five six seven eight good to go all right let's give these senior top stars another big round of applause 
They put a lot of time and effort into entertaining you this evening and providing that finale for us here at TOP National Finals. One thing left, and that is your title. Awards will be going there here in just a couple minutes.